Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and guys I am remaking this video because in my last video I did not show you practically how to tune your carburetor. So after I did that video I got many comments asking me show practically how to do it on the carburetor, demonstrate it so that you guys can understand it properly. So guys I am refining this video a little bit, I am changing few things. So this video will be totally different. So watch the video carefully and don't skip even a bit. Luckily I still have the drawing from my last video guys and I will be using the same drawing. So guys I get many comments asking me how to tune a carburetor to get a good mileage. So today my video is based on a comment sent by Himanshu is live. First of all thank you for the comment. It gave me a video idea. And secondly guys this video is going to help many many people. So watch this video carefully. And don't skip even a bit. So guys, is there really a setting on a carburetor that can give you good mileage? Well, all of that we will find out in this video. So it is going to be a very interesting video guys. So see that you like the video now only. And if you are coming on this channel for the first time, see that you subscribe and keep that bell icon pressed so that you will not miss any of my future videos. So come on, let's start the video. Guys, are you tired of burning extra fuel that you could have saved just by tuning your carburetor correctly? Well guys, let me tell you, your carburetor plays a very important role on how efficiently your engine uses the fuel. By fine tuning it, you can improve your mileage and that too without sacrificing performance. And today in this video, I am going to show you exactly how to do it. So first of all, I will explain this diagram to you guys. This is the fuel tank. This is where you put in your fuel, your petrol and it flows out from the petrol tank and it goes to a fuel cock. And from the fuel cock, it reaches your carburetor. Now, if your fuel cock is damaged, guys, then the fuel that is reaching your carburetor will be different. Sometimes more fuel reach the carburetor and that is the reason why you can't tune the carburetor properly. Guys, I remember my fuel cock, it was not proper. There was a hole in the diaphragm inside of the cock and no mechanic could find the fault in the bike. The bike was having a very rough idling. It was turning off in between and the spark plug was getting too much carbon on it. Then finally guys, I figured it out once I took my cock out. I opened it and I saw, I have also made a video on that. I don't know if you guys have watched that video, but it is a Suzuki XS stalling video. Go and watch that video and you will come to know what had happened to my fuel cock. So you should make sure that your fuel cock is in good condition in the first place. Secondly guys, here is the air filter. If the air filter is dirty, then it will not suck proper air and proper air will not reach your carburetor. So second thing that you should make sure that you are having a clean air filter. Once your air filter is clean and when clean air is reaching your carburetor and clean fuel is reaching your carburetor, what happens next is your carburetor mixes both of them and sends it to the engine combustion chamber where the fuel is burnt. Now to tune the carburetor properly guys. First of all, your carburetor should be clean. If your carburetor is dirty and dirty air is coming to your carburetor, even the fuel is not coming properly because your fuel cock is damaged, then you cannot tune the carburetor properly, guys. So everything is connected here. Think about it. So make sure all these things are working fine as well. So once you know that your air filter is good, your fuel tank and your fuel cock is good, now you can go ahead and tune your carburetor. Now guys, on the carburetor there are two settings. There are two screws that you can play with. First is a tuning screw. We even call it the idle screw. And the other one is a air fuel mixing screw. These are the only things that you can adjust guys. So rest everything you forget now and you only care about these two screws. Now if you want to tune your carburetor properly guys, then first thing that you should make sure that your engine is heated up. Now how to heat up your engine? You will have to ride the bike for a while, ride it for around 5-10 minutes, bring it back home, park it, but don't turn off the bike guys. Keep it on, let it stay hot and now it's time to do the proper tuning. Now guys, what I'm going to tell you, just understand it properly. These two knobs have totally different functions. What your tuning screw or the idle screw does is, if you tighten it too much, then it will open the throttle. If it opens the throttle, then more air and more fuel will reach the combustion chamber and it is like you are accelerating the bike guys. Your bike will start to race and if you loosen it, then guys your bike can fall off because it will close the throttle fully. So that is the job of the tuning screw or the idle screw. But the job of an air fuel mixing screw is different guys. The air fuel mixing screw 
is the screw on which you can decide how much air you can let in inside of the combustion chamber. So if you tighten the air fuel mixing screw, then less air will go in your combustion chamber, more fuel will reach and because of that, you will get a richer fuel mixture and you will get a bad mileage. So if you open this air fuel mixing more, then more air will go in your combustion chamber and there will be a good air fuel mixture and that is when you get a good mileage. Now guys, if your bike is turning off by itself when you're doing idling, then your tuning screw or the idle screw is too loose because of which it is closing the throttle fully. And that is the reason why your bike is turning off. If on idle your bike is too much racy, it is kind of slightly accelerated, then guys, it shows that your tuning screw or the idle screw is too tight and it is keeping the throttle open too much. That is the reason why your bike is slightly racy. So you will have to loosen it a little bit. Now guys, which tuning you would like first? Would you like to set it for mileage or for performance? Do let me know in the comment section below. So the first thing that I will show you guys is how to tune your carburetor for better performance. So guys, the first thing that you will have to do is your engine is hot, your bike is on. Now just tighten the tuning screw a little bit. And as you tighten it, your idling will increase. Means your bike will start to race. Now keep it like that and now tighten your air fuel mixing screw fully. Once you tighten it fully, now open it half the way or slightly more than that. Once you open it that way, just leave it like that and now you set your idling. Now to set your idling guys, you will have to listen to the sound of the bike. So slowly you will have to start to loosen the tuning screw. Now as you are loosening it, if you loosen it too much, then your bike will fall off. But you should not allow it to fall off guys you should loosen it so slowly that your bike will stay on on the lowest speed or on the lowest RPM. So do it slowly guys. If you turn it too fast then obviously it will fall off. When you do it slowly guys you can listen to the sound and stop when the bike is almost turning off. If you keep it too racy then more fuel is getting consumed and you will get less mileage. So keep it as low as possible but it should not turn off guys even on a cold start so remember that. So you will have to keep the RPM slightly more. So that you will have to adjust. I will show it to you practically guys by doing it by myself on my bike. Now guys, I will tell you how to tune your carburetor for better mileage. Now same thing you will have to do guys. You same thing you will have to repeat. Just tighten your tuning screw a little bit. It will start to become racy. Then tighten your mixing screw fully. Now when you are opening your air fuel mixing screw guys, you will have to open it one turn or one and a half turn. Because the more air you give, the mixture of fuel and air will be proper and that is how you will get a good mileage. But still guys, after opening it for one turn or one and a half turn, you will have to still adjust your idling on the tuning screw. But guys, if you loosen this screw too much, if you loosen your air fuel mixing screw too much, some people think that if they open it too much, then their mileage will be absolutely go through the roof. But that is not the case guys. If you loosen it too much, then that screw can fall out guys because of vibration. Although there is a spring on it, but sometimes if you loosen it too much, then it can fall off. So don't loosen it too much guys. If you loosen it too much, too much air will reach your combustion chamber and now the air fuel mixture is not proper. You will start to get rough idling. If you have a RPM meter, then it will start to flicker. On that you can come to know that you are having a rough idling. So don't open the air fuel mixing screw too much guys. One turn is enough or last is one and a half turn. If you think the screw is too loose, then tighten it back again and then loosen it only one turn. So that is how you tune your carburetor for better mileage. So guys, I'm hoping that you have understood this entire process and what I have told you. Now let's go and do it practically guys. I will show you guys how to do it for a good performance. In the similar way, you just have to open your air fuel mixing screw a little bit more to get a better mileage. So let's go and check the practical example. So guys, to access the idle screw and the air screw, you will have to take out this cover and you will have to put your screwdriver inside from this side. Now if you look inside of this hole, then you will notice that there are two screws here. This big screw is the tuning screw and the small screw is the air fuel mixing screw. So I will be putting my screwdriver inside from this hole. So I can't put a camera here to show you guys. So I will keep the camera on top. So this is the top view and from this side you can clearly see this screw which has the spring on it is the tuning screw or the idle screw and on the side of it the small screw that you can see is the air fuel mixing screw. So before I tune them 
you should start the bike you should ride it for around 5 minutes you should heat up the engine and then you should come and do this setting now i will put the screwdriver inside i'm putting the screwdriver inside from this hole and the camera i have placed on top so that you guys can see properly so the first thing that i will do here is guys i will tighten my idle screw a little bit and the moment i tighten it my bike will start to accelerate a little bit more and as it is accelerating i will go near my air fuel mixing screw and i will tighten it fully once i tighten it fully i will start to loosen it and i will take a half turn or slightly more than a half turn and i will leave it like that then again i will go near my idle screw and now i will have to set my idling now by listening to the sound i will loosen this screw and i will keep it on so much that my bike will stay on and it will not fall off and that too on the lowest rpm if you keep the idling too racy then the fuel consumption will be more because the throttle will stay open more due to which you will get less mileage and for better mileage you just have to open your air fuel mixing screw a little bit more and give that little bit more air so that the air and fuel mixture becomes a balanced mixture a better mixture which will indeed give you a better mileage so guys i'm hoping that this video was useful to you and i'm hoping that you have learned a lot in this video so that's all in this video guys and i will see you guys in my next video till then bye and take care